What is up, y'all? What is up, man? We are talking about something very serious today. Very serious. And that is diabetes. Diabetes. And I'm here to show you that I can help you beat diabetes. You know, I um, I had type 2 diabetes about three and a half years ago. Close to four years already. And I beat it. And I'm here to show y'all how to beat it. I'm also here to show you what to look for, because a lot of times we might not think we're diabetic, but we probably are. And I'm going to show you what y'all can look for. And um, let's do something about it. Diabetes, man. Uh, today's show is diabetes is very dangerous. And it's, it's a very dangerous, deadly disease. Very dangerous. <laughs> Excuse me. Deadly disease disease so right here you see diabetes kills three people every minute so what in the world can we do to fight it back so what can we do to fight diabetes back and i'm here to tell you we're gonna break it down today i'm on here early so I could break it down for y'all and I can show y'all. Now, I'm going to try to come over here to my Facebook to see who's on here because I can't see everybody on here right now. But I tell you what, man, uh, join me. Hit the hit the video. If you hit the video, I can see exactly, you know, who's on here. But if you don't hit the video, I can't see who's on here. Let me just take this off right now. So shout out to everybody, man. Appreciate y'all being on here. All right. So let me just open this up again. I'm trying to see who's on my Facebook. I usually have my laptop and my wife's watching uh, something over there. So here we go. So now I got a delay on this. Now I'm going to figure out how to lower it down. There we go. There we go. So now I can see who's on here, which is going to be awesome. Let me see. I think I can. Let me see. Okay. So now I can see who's on here. Oh, here we go. Are you kidding me? There we go. There we go. So now I can see who's on here. Y'all hear my delay? Hold on. All right. All right, now we're good, y'all. So today we are talking about diabetes, man. Uh, why is it so deadly and why is it so dangerous? Well, you have to understand diabetes in order to beat it. Now, diabetes comes from sugar. And I know y'all know that part. Diabetes comes from sugar. It's a lot of sugar. And sugar is in everything. Sugar's in cereal. Sugar's in bread. Sugar's in Pasta, sugars, and everything. So we are used to eating everything because we like to eat, right? And we celebrate when we want to, you know, when we, we celebrate, we eat. When somebody passes away, we eat. You know, whatever it is, it's always about eating. All the time we're eating and eating and eating. Now, the problem ain't eating. The problem is when you're eating sugar, you know, and everything turns to sugar. So as everything turns to sugar... Your blood starts slowing down. You start getting real bad inflammation, right? And then your body, you're, you're not using, you know, you're using way too much of your insulin, way too much. Of your, your, your body's constantly using your glucose, constantly. So then you become diabetic. And when you become diabetic, it's like, you know, you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you, hey, you're borderline diabetic and then you're pre-diabetic and then you're diabetic. Right. So when they tell me you're pre-diabetic or borderline diabetic, that means you're not far from being diabetic. I mean, that's the reality of it. So a lot of doctors say that it's not curable. It's controllable, but not curable. And you can't beat it. That it's a chronic disease. And I'm here to tell you that's a lie. But I'm also here to tell you that having diabetes type two, we're talking about type two, having diabetes is like being an alcoholic. 
so if you're an alcoholic and you stop drinking, you're no longer an alcoholic. But the minute you start drinking again, you're back to being an alcoholic. Was that the same? That's the same thing with diabetics. So if you delete all sugar out your life and you stop taking in sugar, then you're no longer a diabetic. And the minute you start doing them bad habits and eating that bad sugar, that evil sugar again, guess what? You're back to being a diabetic. So that's what that's what's going on. This is not magic. This is hard work. You know, very hard work. This is n- knowing what diabetes is and what it does to you. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain to you the best way I can. So when we are all born, we are born with ketones in our body. We are born with ketones in our body. Make sure if you're on Facebook, please hit so I can see your messages. I can't see your messages right now. So make sure you hit the video so I can see on my ecam. I can see on my ecam. Everybody on TikTok, appreciate y'all on TikTok. Thank y'all so much. Make sure y'all share the video. Y'all can invite people right now. I think that's the way it works. But I'm here to help people, guys. I'm here to help people. I can't believe we only got four people right here on Facebook. I can't believe it. And I appreciate y'all, but I can't believe we only have four people. Because people are dying from diabetes every day. People are suffering from diabetes every day. Right? Whether it's us, whether it's our tia, our tío, it could be our mom, it could be our dad, it could be our uncle, it could be our child, it could be anyone, but there's somebody in the family. If you told me right now there's nobody in my family that doesn't have diabetes, I would say you're lying. Because everyone in the family has somebody that has diabetes. And if they don't have diabetes, they're close to getting diabetes. You know, uh, years back, the numbers were different. You know, when you got to a certain number, you still weren't diabetic. But now it's like you're this number, you're diabetic, you're automatically diabetic, right? They're not giving you a chance. They're not giving you a chance because they're constantly throwing stuff at you and telling you, eat this. You know, this is good. They All these commercials, all these you know, Whopper commercials, all these every kind of commercial you could think of. They're putting it out you and telling you, you know, eat this. This is good for you and everything. And then you get diabetes. So I'm going to explain to you the best way I can. So, okay, so say your body is born. Everybody's body is born with ketones, right? But then you start getting introduced to all the bad candy, to all the bad sugar, to all the pasta, the tortillas and everything else. You start getting introduced to this, right? And then... So now your body is starting to not use your ketones no more. So now your body can't use your fat for fuel. Now your body is using the tank that they shouldn't use, right? So they're using all your insulin. So you have two tanks in your body, right? So it's attacking everything in your insulin level, everything, right? Because it's trying to protect your pancreas, right? So now, guess what? You develop diabetes because what happens is you, you start getting sugar so much in you that you could only push down on it so much. You push down on it. You push down on it. Every time a doctor tells you, hey, I'm going to give you these pills, everything, they're pushing down. Say it's, you got two pots and they're pushing down on it. And they're, what happens if you push down? On a, on a pot that has water and you keep on pushing down on it, eventually the pot is going to explode and it goes everywhere. And that's what happens on type 2 diabetes. When your pot cannot no longer take sugar going down, you could only stuff it so much, it pops out. It might squirt out. It might squirt out and hit you in the eyes. And so now you have a vision problem. It might squirt and hit you with, you know, in, in, in your, in your, your, um, your cells. So now you have like really, really aching problems. You have real aching. It might hit your blood. You know, now you got really problems. Now they might hit your mind. And now your, your, your mind is, is, you know, you're feeling like real, real lightheaded and stuff like that. You're getting dizzy. You feel sick. So that's what diabetes is doing to you. You know, you can only push so far in it. So how do you beat diabetes? At one time, I thought there was no cure for diabetes. I, at one time, I was already saying, you know what? I'm going to stick myself and I'm going to do the best I can because that's, this, this is what I have to do to live. But then 
I wanted something different. I said, there's no way this can be this sad. There's no way I cannot beat this. There's no way. And I was right. So now I'm no longer diabetic, not type two, not type nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. And I feel amazing. But I had to clear all the fatty liver that I had. I had to get rid of that. Remember, through all these years, we say, Comete toda la comida. Make sure you eat everything. Make sure you eat all this and all this sugar. Your mom's trying to feed you all this sugar and your tia and, and everybody's trying to feed you all this sugar. Now, they don't mean no harm, but, but they don't mean no harm, but this is the way they were raised up. So they eat all your food, eat all this, all this sugar. Man, we used to go to Shipley's and we used to order, I used to eat a six pack of donuts by myself at Shipley's. Six pack of donuts by myself. You know, I I used to eat bad. I ate bad. I used to go to Timmy Chan's and eat a six piece wings and then the rice and then order extra fries. And man, and then that wasn't that wasn't the killer of it. The killer was when I would order that Kool-Aid and ask for it. I would make a joke out of it. I need the diabetic Kool-Aid. That's exactly what it did. It gave me diabetes. So. Thank God everything's over because I would never go back to that. So I did all the things that people do right now. They eat cake. They, they, you know, they eat cake. They eat chocolate chip cookies. They do all this. I can do all that, but I do that with no sugar. Absolutely no sugar. And you're probably wondering, Free, but where do you get that at? You get that right here. Trishna. I mean, that's my tea. I got so many things going on. You get it. Sugar is the devil dot net. Sugar. It, right now we're in the kitchen and we're baking right now as I'm doing this show. Thanks to my wife. Because we had some orders come in. And the other day I did. Um, I made a cake for, for somebody that I'm coaching, you know, for her mom. I'm coaching her mom. And man, it's, it's so awesome to see that she was able to enjoy herself on her birthday, you know. And as I made that cake, I had to make me a cake. And this is what we got right here. This right here, no sugar. Look. I hate to do that to y'all. It is amazing. I had people tell me it's, excuse me. I had people tell me it's better than real cake. Look at that. Let me give you a close up. You see that? That's a close up right there, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that cake. Homemade. Mm. From sugar is the devil. If you live in the Katy area or in Houston or surroundings, then you, you might be able to come pick up a, a custom cake from us. But don't worry because we ship all around the United States and you can pick up my cake mix. And all you have to do is add eggs to it, sour cream, and vanilla. And guess what? You're going to have an amazing cake. You're going to have a real amazing cake. So does anybody have any questions, man? Does anybody have any questions? I want to see who has some questions. I can't see nobody on here. I don't know why I can't see nobody on here. Um. Please, somebody leave me a comment on Facebook. I want to see if, if I can see your comments or what's going on. Maybe maybe right here. Maybe right here. No. Nope, I don't see the messages at all. So I'm not sure why not. But so, guys, I suffered from, from diabetes for a few years. I had high blood pressure. I had high blood pressure real bad. Usually when somebody has diabetes, they have high blood pressure, right? Or it's coming. And today, I take nothing for granted ever. I don't ever take nothing for granted. I thank God every day for where he has me. You know, it was a fight. And that's what I had to do. I had to fight. And it's not something that you do and turn off. Either you want it or you don't want it. One of the hardest things to tell a diabetic, they're type 2 diabetic, and you tell them you have to delete all sugar out your life. They don't want to do it. They want it easy. Oh, you know what? If I if I do this and just don't eat this much sugar, then I can go to the gym and then I'll be okay. 
That's that ain't gonna happen. You're still gonna be diabetic. You gotta understand your body has developed so much sugar in it, so much sugar that you have to detox your body. You have to clear out your liver, your fatty liver. And I'm here to tell you how you're going to do it. So if you know somebody diabetic right now, if you know somebody diabetic, whether it's your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, if you know, whoever it is, your mom, whoever it is, this show is very important because this show can help them. This show can save people's lives. And not, that's not the only thing that can help people. This book right here, this book right here at number one seller at Amazon can help you so much to delete sugar out your life. Look, what does that say right there? Sugar is the devil. Sugar is the devil. Because that's exactly what it is. It's the devil. You know, so I know you might feel, man, I'm diabetic and I'm going to stay diabetic and I'm going to probably die diabetic. But you do not have to feel that way. And you do not have to feel that you have to. It has to be that way because it don't because it don't. Man, I, I did this show today specifically for diabetics, you know. And it's not just for type two, type one. I help if you del- if you're type one and you delete sugar out your life, then you're going to feel better. You won't feel like you're on a roller coaster going up and down, up and down. And you, you don't know how to feel. Plus, you're going to have your levels better. Now, you understand something that when you're a type one, you're not making insulin. You're no longer making insulin. So you're going to have to have treatments. You have to. There's no way out of it. Right. But you can help yourself. You know, sugar. It doesn't make sense to me that if you're diabetic, whether type one, type two, whatever, and you're not deleting sugar out your life, I don't understand how is that making sense. You know, I understand you might be going through this, but if you delete sugar out your life and start taking the sweeteners, like I tell you, which is number one, Lakanto monk fruit, number two, stevia, and number three, erythritol. And those are in that particular order, but that's how I take them, right? And you don't have to worry about sugar spikes because guess what? All those are not sugar. They're not sugar. Absolutely no sugar. Right. But you don't want to take all that other. Well, I don't know. Splenda. No, it would not splenda. Some other ones that uh, sweet and low and all that. Those are chemical. They're terrible. They're terrible. They will hurt you. Right. And um, never late, bro. Never late. And the thing is. You know. Give yourself a chance to fight back. Fight back. What, how do you think every, every health problem starts with? How do you think every health problem starts? It, it starts with diabetes. It starts with diabetes. You know, a, a lot of people, diabetes causes inflammation, real bad inflammation. When you get bad inflammation, so many things happen, you know, you know, I remember when I when I was diabetic, I had GERD, I had uh, gastritis, I had um, heartburn, I had everything wrong with me, everything. I was in regular in the restroom. I was I was in so much pain. I didn't want to do number two because I was in so much pain before, after, and during. I didn't want to do it. My wife could tell you, man, I used to be in the restroom. I was crying because I was sacrificing eating Popeyes and eating this and eating that. When I was a shouldn't, when I shouldn't have been eating that, not because of the spice, but because of the sugar that's in the chicken or because of the sugar that's in the, the, the you know, when you're frying it, you know. So the thing is, diabetes is a killer. It's a silent killer and it kills people right there. Look, this is true. This is true right here. Diabetes kills three people. Every minute, every minute around the world, diabetes kills three people. Now, if that doesn't try to wake you up or if that that doesn't put in your head, say, man, you know what? I want to beat diabetes. 
people. You can beat it. Stop surrendering to this disease. It's exactly that. It's a disease. But you can beat it. You have to work hard. You have to you have to want this. You have to want this. You every day you got to tell yourself, I'm not going to eat that. I'm not going to do that. I do not want that. I want to live. I want to live longer to see my kids or whatever the situation is. I want to live longer. Now, I'm not God. So, again, I can't tell you when you're going to die. I don't know. But I can tell you that the way where I'm at right now, three and a half years ago, I have young kids. I started over. I have a a six year old and I have a 10 year old. Well, three and a half years ago, when they told me. (laughs) Damn. Three and a half years ago, when they told me. Dad, you know, they would talk to, to talk, you know, in future to me. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. I was like, man, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to be here. So how am I going to lie to them and tell them I'm, I'm going to be at your graduation or I'm going to be there and, and I'm going to be at your, you know, this and your, your 15th birthday party and all this. And now I can tell them from my heart and from the way I feel, I'm going to be there. I am going to be there. You know, if God gives me, you know, the willing to be there, I'm going to be there. It's no longer about I'm going to be in the hospital. I'm going to be sick. I'm not going to be able to be there. No, it's more like if God gives me the willing, there is no other reason why I won't be there. But you have to you have to fight back. You have to want this. I get so tired of seeing people saying, oh, my God, my leg, it hurts so much. that It's so swollen. Or, oh, my God, I'm having dizzy spells. I feel sick and taking all this medication and taking all this medication and not doing nothing about it. They want us to feel sorry for them. But yet they do not want to put away the sugar, delete sugar out your life. There's people right now that watch my show, and as soon as I know that they, they feel that something's affecting them, that they need to put down something, then guess what? They'll stop watching my show because they don't want to hear the truth. And that's what I give everybody. I give everybody the truth. I don't hold back. I'm not here to hold back. I want you to know that diabetes is very dangerous, deadly disease. It's very, It's a very dangerous disease. That's what it is. And doctors are never, ever going to cure you from it. They're not. Because doctors will keep on giving you medicines and give you medicines and give you more insulin and give you more insulin. You cannot see no longer. You lose your limbs. You lose your legs. And doctors are still stuffing medicine and you, giving you more medicine and more medicine. And now you're blind and they're still giving you more medicine. And you're taking more medicine because you believe in that doctor because you believe, hey, he has a white coat. He went to school. He deserves this. Bam. And guess what happens to you? You don't give yourself a chance. Now, I'm not yelling at y'all. I'm just real passionate about this, right? And it makes me mad. It makes me angry because doctors are not going to cure your disease, you know? And before we start, keep keep on talking about the doctors. Attention, my advice is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just... All right. So we trust in doctors. We trust in doctors. We trust in in, in people that got degrees and got this. And and I understand, you know, that we we should. We should. Right. But do you know that I've heard this from a doctor and I, I can't tell you where I heard it from or who I heard it from. But I remember I heard this. The doctor says, if I knew that it was going to be about this, I would have never been a doctor. You see, if you go and you look and look up everything I'm telling you and see everything, how all the doctors and the pharmacies and all the medicines and everything are connected, just go look at it for yourself. Everything is on Google or whatever you want to find it. Go look hard and you'll find what you're looking for. You'll find what I'm talking about. Right? If I'm mistaken, they make... Man, they make like, what? I don't know about now, but maybe even more. But I think the last time I seen it was like 400 billion 
a month or or maybe more. I'm not sure, but that's a lot of money, a lot of money. I mean, that's maybe maybe a year. My bad, a year. But that's a lot of money, you know, a lot of money. And medicine was never supposed to be taken. Medicine was a market tool. And you can look that up, too. Everything I talk about, go look it up. I want you to go look it up, you know, so you can see that I'm, I'm spitting facts to y'all. You know, so like I said, do not sleep on sugar is the devil. Because sugar is the devil is amazing. Because there's no sugar in it. And it's delicious. You know, I'll bite again. So delicious. Very delicious. So when people come tell me, what do I eat? These are the excuses you hear all from people. All the time, these are the excuses I hear. Keto is too expensive. That's like the number one excuse I hear. Keto is too expensive. So I said, hold up. So you're telling me keto is too expensive. Well, let's do the math. Doctors, keto. Medication, keto. Using your car to put gas in your car to go across town to see the doctor, keto. Well, guess what? This side's more expensive. Keto's not. The best part about it is you're going to be fine. You're going to beat all health problems if you do keto. And you still have people that don't want to make that move. Maybe because it's too hard for them. You know, it's you have to want this. I can come on here and I can tell you, man, please go do keto or please go do this or please let me coach you or whatever it is. Right. But until you want it, that's when it's going to happen. That's when it's going to happen. When I tell you I had so many bad habits, I've had so many bad habits of eating. I love to eat. I used to go. I, I yeah, Some of y'all know I'm a DJ. So I was DJ and I would get out of the club probably like about mm, three. Th- I get out like about two o'clock. But after I load up and everything, it'll be about three fifteen, three thirty, And then I live across town from where I DJ at. And I remember. After I ate some tacos from the taco truck right there by the job where, where I DJ at. I'm going home. Right. I'm driving home. And there happened to be a big old Burger King truck, a diesel truck in front of me. So in the back of the Burger King truck on the back of the tailgate, they had that big old Whopper on there. Right. And I'm look, I'm driving, I'm looking at it. I'm, guess what I'm thinking? Like, Oh man, I'm about to eat me a, a double meat cheese Whopper with jalapenos and some French fries, crispy or un, un, I like my, I used to like my onion rings, like almost burnt crispy, real crispy onion rings. Uh, jalapeno. I'm thinking about everything I'm going to order. Right. Oh, and then I got to get that large, large Dr. Cold Dr. Pepper, right? So I'm behind this diesel. Remember, I just told you, I just ate. I just ate. So it hasn't been longer than, what, an hour? If if that, you know, I, I just ate. So I'm driving, and sure enough, I pull into a Burger King. Pull into a Burger King, order the... Texas Whopper, because I'm not happy with just the Whopper I seen behind there. I want a double Texas Whopper, right? So I get the Texas Whopper. Then I'm like, super, make sure I get my fries. Supersize my fries. Please supersize my fries, right? So now I got my fries. And then my onion rings, I want them half burnt. So they got my onion rings and everything, right? Now I go home. And I, I just ate all this food. I ate all this food. I'm watching TV. And I go home and I ate all this food, right? And then I'm sitting back and I'm watching the commercials and everything. And then you see a commercial come on says, they're great, right? And guess what Free's about to go do? Because Free remembers he has Frosted Flakes in his kitchen. You know, he, I remember I got Frosted Flakes in my kitchen. And I remember I got a couple of bananas that I need to get to before they get bad, right? So guess what I go do? I go to the kitchen and I don't get a small bowl. I get the biggest bowl. And then I put Frosted Flakes. And then I put milk. 
right? And then I put, thinking I put in 2%, thinking it's going to be a difference, right? Milk is bad, all milk, right? So as soon as I do this, I cut the bananas, right? Y'all know where I'm going with it? Cut the bananas. And I'm eating it. And as I'm eating it, I haven't even got to close to finishing it. Now I'm full. Remember, I'm full. I'm so full. I'm still full from the tacos I ate over in a taco truck, right? I'm full. I can feel the food right here, and I know I have a problem because it ain't going to go down. But I'm still eating it. I'm still trying. Oh, hell, I, you ain't going to beat me. I got to eat all this, you know? So now I'm in the restroom, and I'm in pain. I'm crying. I'm in a lot. I'm, so, I'm in severe pain. I come out the restroom after I use the restroom, and I'm drinking Pepto-Bismol. Um, so much stuff. So much stuff. Lydia, do me a favor, love. Bring me the drawer that has all the medicines in it, please. Bring me that whole drawer, please. I want to show them everything I should take. It, it's in our in our bedroom, in the room. So I'm going to show y'all this drawer that I used to take. It has all the medicines. It has Pepto-Bismol. It has everything. Um, it's just what I used to take is terrible, right? And the thing is, man, you have to give yourself a chance to beat this disease. You know, today I, I do the intimate fasting. I do the keto lifestyle. I don't believe in cheating days. I don't believe in, in falling off days. I eat, I'm old mad, so I eat only one time a day. And that's it. I give myself like maybe about a two-hour window and I'm done, right? Usually I'm done in 45 minutes. Usually I'm, I'm done an hour. And that's it. And nothing else no more. During that time, I'm eating keto stuff. I'm eating like maybe strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Now, some of the stuff I see all the time that don't make no sense, I comment on it. Like one thing I seen um, not too long ago, they said, all fruit helps your body. That's not true. Fruit, some fruit has way too much sugar, way too much sugar. If you want to beat diabetes, then you have to delete sugar throughout your life. If you want to beat inflammation, if you want to beat digestive problems, you want to beat GERD, if you want to beat um, gastritis, if you want to have a better gallbladder, whatever you want to do, you have to delete sugar out your life. Not white rice, not brown rice, not no rice, no rice at all. If you're going to eat rice, you do cauliflower rice, right? No wheat bread, no kind of wheat bread, nothing. I had somebody tell me, saying, wheat bread, ain't that healthy for you? No, it's not. No, it's not. You know, none of that stuff is good for you, right? What's that? Just some stuff. I got rid of it. What happened? Oh, you got rid of everything else? But where's the, um, where's that drawer? We don't got that drawer no more? You can't pull the drawer. Shoot, I pulled it out last time. All right. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you. Are you joining me right now? Are you, my, are you watching my show? Okay, thank you. Leave a comment so I can see you. All right. So we have this one we used to take. These are still brand new. I bought these when I was already gonna, about to give up already, you know? So they're pretty brand new. So we got these right here. Look. These right here. Extra strength. Everything was always about extra strength. We got pepper, pepper set. Look, and these, the, yeah. We got these right here, and these right here. They're they're like quarter down already. They're almost they're almost done, right? So I'm telling you everything I should take. My wife threw a lot of stuff away, but I'm showing y'all what I should take. We got Rolades right here. Advance. When I tell you that I used to have so many problems with GERD, gastritis, Angel, please listen to me. With GERD, gastritis, digestive problems, food wouldn't go down. I would feel like I was choking at night. This is what, these are all the things I used to take. I'm not done. Look right here. Aqua saucer fruit shoes. I would take this for nausea. Look.
Alka saucers. I would chew these like they were nothing. You know, I would take all the Alka saucers. And I had to have the extra strength. Look. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. The little pills. Little pills. My stomach would hurt so bad. You know, I had to take these when I got diarrhea and stuff. Hate to be straight up with y'all, but I'm, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. And I guess you threw the other stuff away. But, um, or it's in another drawer. But we got, this is, this is what I'm telling y'all guys. You do not have to live that life. You do not have to live that life. You know, I have been there. I suffered from a lot of health problems. I, I'm bur I'm just... Right now, taking care of doctors. My main, my bad credit came from doctors. I had real bad credit because I could, it was always, 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 always in the hospital. So I don't take nothing. I don't remember the last time I had heartburn. Hey, babe, how you doing? I don't remember the last time I had heartburn. I don't remember. You know, I don't remember the last time I had a headache. I do not remember being sick. I don't get sick no more. I don't get my stomach ain't bloated no more. You know, I don't get like that no more. Before I used to be like, oh, my stomach was so big and I hated it, right? Not no more. Not, not, not anymore. Not anymore. But the thing is, guys, diabetes is very dangerous. If you do not wake up and you do not make the changes you need to make, then changes are going to be made to you. And they're not going to be good changes. I have a friend, Mike. I haven't heard from him. He probably deleted me off my Facebook. I'm not sure. Well, for many of years, I've been trying with, not, I can't say many years, but during the time that I've been, you know, I changed and everything. I've been trying to help him. And I told him, I said, bro, man, you got to change, bro. You got to change. Well, not too long ago, they chopped, he had, he had his, his limb, his foot. They cut his, his foot off. And this, he could have prevented this. He could have prevented this if he would have just deleted sugar out of his life. People take this as a joke. Oh, I love food. I, I, I touched my last time. Oh, man, I love potato salad. I love food. You're, you're diabetic. You're diabetic. Give yourself a chance. I even tell people, hey, you know what? You're diabetic. Let me show you how to make this. Very delicious. You know, they said... Oh, man, I want potato salad. I love potato salad. You know what? I'll make you potato salad. What did I do? I went to get some radishes, and I made potato salad out of radishes. And by the way, that's in my recipe book. And it was good. I put the pickles. I put the everything in it. And it was delicious. But they were made out of radishes, you know? And some people, right away, that oh, that's nasty. They don't even give themselves a chance to like it. So anyway, man, uh, I don't know who we, I don't think we have a lot of people on here, but let me know. I want to hear some questions. I want to hear some questions. And today we have a show for you. So we might go 45 minutes and we might go one hour. Okay. Cause we are going to cover diabetes and we might not be able to do it on this show, but we are going to cover diabetes. Right. And like I tell you, diabetes comes from inflammation, you know, Inflammation comes from fatty liver, from your liver, from not having a clean liver, you know, and then it comes from it goes to your pancreas, you know, then you're, you're working too hard in your pancreas. And then you got to worry about, you know, you're getting you're getting too much. You're getting too much, you, you're too much of your insulin, you're using way too much of your insulin when your body shouldn't use your insulin so much. So um, I don't even have to eat and I wake up with gluten. You see, bro, but it's not it's not about that. It's not about eating. It's 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 sugar. It's sugar. You need to get all sugar out of you. All sugar. There is no slight, not even a slight of sugar should be in you. Nothing. You, you say you don't eat sugar. But the other day I was watching something you were eating, and I want to say you were eating um um 
some type of pasta or you were eating some kind of I don't know what it was, but I remember you were eating something. And even those chips you were y'all were talking about the other day, those chips are no they're not good for you. Yeah, I promise you that if you write down everything you eat, everything, write down, write down everything you eat and tell me exactly what you're eating and tell me your schedule. I guarantee you that I'll find something that you shouldn't eat. See, a lot of things that say they're sugar free are not always sugar free. A lot of things that that say, you know, hey, you don't have this. You need to find a hidden sugar because there's always hidden sugars in everything. You know, the best way to eat is make your own food. You know, the cookbook, I did this cookbook to help people, to help people to do the keto lifestyle and to enjoy food. One thing is to help people and to show them, hey, you can eat this and eat that. But another thing is to help them eat something that's very, very delicious. Because I know a lot of people that cook and it tastes bland. It tastes terrible. You know? So here I am. I try these recipes out. I did these recipes. And these recipes are all from me. All from me. I haven't sent them to YouTube yet. But eventually I probably will send them to YouTube. But right now you can pick up this recipe book at Amazon. Go pick it up. Number one seller. It's doing really awesome. You know, and it's going to help you because it's going to help you build your immune system. It's going to help you. My story by itself, just my story, read my story, read where I was at. And my story by itself is going to help you, you know. Hey, how you doing? So we got some here. Uh, how to get your help and, and okay, how to get help. And cookbook. You could get my help. By giving me a call at 832-715-2557. 832-715-2557. My cookbook is at Amazon. Everyone can go to Amazon. It's real easy to find. Just put the truth. Keto is life or put the truth or keto is life. Whatever you want to put on there, just put something and it's going to pop it out. You know, the truth, keto is life. You could also add me to my Facebook page, which is one. Sugar is the devil, which is easy also. One sugar is the devil. And you could add me on there. And I'll be more than glad to help you. Whether you're in TikTok, whether you're on, you know, whether you're on Facebook, wherever you're at, I'm here to help you. This is what my show is about. My show is here to help people beat diabetes, beat high blood pressure, beat GERD, beat di whatever problem you might have, beat digestive problem, beat whatever beat anxiety depression whatever you might be feeling if you listen to me and you delete sugar out your life you can beat them health problems see sugar eat sugar is even a problem with cancer because it feeds into the cells of cancer and like i said look up everything i tell you look up everything i tell you because i have a hundred percent i can back everything up that i'm talking about you know so, where we at? We're at 43 minutes. Any more questions, guys? Let me know. You got more. Okay, we got right here. Um, what is it called? I want to read your story. Okay. The book is called The Truth Keto is Life. Let me, let me go ahead and let me make it bigger. That's what the book is called. Hold on. Here we go. The Truth Keto is Life. The Truth Keto is Life. Wait till you see my picture how big I was I was a real big guy I lost 98 pounds and the way I did that I did that working hard and all these meals that you're going to see on here are meals that I came up with that helped me during my process you know during my progress did everything I've done it's in this book so let me go and put this let me go and put this back over there so definitely it's called the truth key to his life. All right, guys. So I would I thought that I was going to have more people on here. And I guess we got a, we got a, like another 10 minutes, maybe. And I thought, you know, I was really hoping that we get a lot of people on here because I'm really help, trying to help a lot of people that are going through diabetes. You know, maybe they'll see my show later on. That's a good thing about doing a live show. They can see it later on. I will be doing a watch party so you can see my watch party. Join me for the watch party. Um, and let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Um. If I can help you reach out to me, you know, the way the way I the way I work, guys, this is the way I work. 
So I coach people when I charge them $40 a month. That's what I charge them. But right now, as bad as I want to help people, for this month, right? And we might go another month. Go pick up my book. Show me you picked up my book, and I'll help you. And I won't charge you. I will help you. You can understand something. I, I used to do this. I, I still do this out of my great heart, my good heart. But I used to do this, and I would not charge no one nothing. And that's exactly what I would get from people. Nothing. They wouldn't, they'll, they'll keep me on the phone and everything. they take up all my time, but then they wouldn't follow through. But for some reason or another, when they pay for something, that's when they feel that, hey, man, I paid for something, so I want to do something with it. I want to do something for it, right? So it's just a different thing. Now, the 40, not that I got to tell y'all, but the $40 that I received from it, I put them back into the business, right? It's $40 ain't a lot of money. It is not at all. I have several businesses and I do well. I do well. I haven't, I have, I've been working for myself for 17 years, 17, eight, almost 18 years for myself. Thank God I'm blessed, right? But I put myself there, you know? So then $40, don't think that, that, that I'm going to lose sleep if I don't get them. It's just something that I do to keep people accountable, accountable for when they know that if they go through it, they don't go through it. You know, they, they know they need to do this. Right. So guys, we spend money. We spend $40 on junk food. We spend $40 on BS. We spend $40 on stuff that's going to keep on keeping us diabetic. All right. So now that we went over that, now I want to tell you all some, some ways to know that if you're diabetic, if you, if you, you might not think you're diabetic, but these are ways to know that you are diabetic, either you're pre-diabetic or borderline diabetic. So one of the ways you could know is if you pee often, like if you're urine a lot, like if you're going to go pee and pee and pee a lot, that's one way. Another way is to know when you go, you know, pee, it bubbles up real, real, real up. It bubbles up real, like real cloudy. And then you got like a little smell, like you got to pay attention to the smell because it got like a little sweet smell. It's kind of hard to explain, but it got like a little sweet, nasty smell, right? So that's one way to know if you're borderline diabetic or if you're pre-diabetic or maybe you're diabetic. Another thing is you're thirsty. You're thirsty. You're constantly thirsty. You're thirsty. My dad used to go through drink so much water. You don't understand how my dad used to always have water next to him. He's always thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. And another way, another way to know if you start feeling lightheaded, if you feel real, your energy level is like real low. Like if you just feel like, uh, you know, you don't feel good. You know, that's another way to remember, you know, that. You know, your energy level is gone. That's another way to to show that you might be diabetic. You know, uh, another way, if um, if you cut yourself and, and, and the, the cut don't go away right away, you know, like you get a you, 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 you got that cut for the longest time. It's taking so long to heal. A lot of times that that might be, you know, a factor of being diabetic. So. I mean, I'm trying to think of some other ways. Um. You know, your blood pressure, when your blood pressure is not right, it might be a sign of diabe uh, diabetes. Uh, when you get pain, uh, abdominal pain down here, when you get pain real bad down there, uh, that can be diabetes. You know, that could be a site of, of you getting diabetic, you know, because that's where the pain's at, right? So I would say, guys, go check yourself. Go check yourself. Get you a test, you know, and find out. If you are and if you are, guys, I'm here to help you beat it. We're going to beat it and we'll beat it together. The thing about this, either you're diabetic. Either you're type two diabetic. Or you want to beat that. That's all it is. You want to do the hard work. You want to listen to me. You want to do the sacrifices. You want to do whatever I tell you to do. Or you want to continue being diabetic and continue sticking yourself and continue putting yourself in that place. So it's up to you. I could only help a person so far. 
because I can get on the phone with you because I do a lot of FaceTime with a lot of people that got Apple phones or whatever. We, I go to grocery shopping with them. I do everything with people all the time. They could call me all the time. I'm, I'm here. I'm a coach for a reason. You call me, and I'm going to tell you, no, you don't have to eat that. Get that out of your mind. Go home, and I'm going to show you how to make that. That's going to be way better for you, and it's not going to hurt you, and you're going to love to eat it. You know, and not only that, I show people, you know, I pick people up. I push people. I tell people, you know what, man, God, man, you're, you know, God made you with greatness, man. God made you with greatness. Do something, you know, now's your time to do something. So I'm going to get a, I'm going to hit a place in there for y'all. This is something I wrote. I did get my, my lovely wife to say it. She just has a beautiful voice. So I got her to say it. Um, so let me go and play it. It's called The Dangers of Sugar. So I'm going to play it for y'all real quick. Let me find it. Okay, here we go. The Dangers of Sugar. Unstable blood sugar control insulin resistance. Sugar can damage the insulin receptor sites on cells, causing them to not work as well as they should. This makes it harder to get the glucose into the cells to use as energy. The body sensing it needs more glucose in the cells puts out more insulin to try to compensate increased risk for type 2 diabetes eventually the compensation can't keep up and a person's blood glucose levels rises there is a continuum of dysfunction until a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes can result high insulin levels are inflammatory and can also create a host of other issues increased body fat obesity an increase in belly fat increases risk of chronic disease like heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. Increased free fatty acid accumulation, which can have negative effects on blood lipids, triglycerides, and cholesterol. Leaky gut. Excess sugar feeds the bad bacteria like candida in the gut and can lead to an imbalance in the gut bacteria. Dysbiosis, or an overgrowth of bad bacteria, is inflammatory and contributes to leaky gut and a cascade of mental, digestive, and systemic health issues over time. Increased risk for certain cancers. Sugar feeds cancer and excess sugar intake. Poor blood sugar control and increased insulin production increases your risk for certain cancers. Increased inflammation, which is the precursor for all chronic disease. Adrenal stress. The effect on destabilizing blood sugar levels creates fight or flight response, which creates a stress on adrenal function. Cell damage. Damage to the cells in your body, which lowers your cells' ability to communicate properly with each other. Sugar reacts with proteins in the body and damages them and their ability to function properly. Increase in dental cavities. Cardiovascular health issues negatively affects brain health. Did you know that we now call Alzheimer's type 3 diabetes? How much sugar is too much? Keto is Life TV. You see, I told you I had a beautiful voice. So, right here, this is for diabetes, right? So, for what happens, right? So sugar foods can increase the risk of depression, right? So people get depression from it. You know, skin, you get skin problems. I remember when I had, my skin didn't look good. I had bad skin. And this was three and a half years ago, you know, and, and now I look a lot better. And so all this, you know, aging, you know, and I just turned 50. I don't look 50. I don't feel 50, you know. But a couple of years ago, I felt, look, and... You know what I'm saying? Kidneys, you know, sugar overload, the damage, you know, diabetes is one of the main causes of kidney failure. You see, everything I talk about is here. Heart, sugar inflames, you know. Look at the arteries. Look, look, heart increasing the risk of stroke and heart attack. I just had a few friends pass away that were diabetic from a stroke and a heart attack. And I had somebody pass away a few years ago from having a blood clog. And all that is from diabetes. All that is from diabetes, guys. You know, we are going to do an hour. We got a couple of more minutes. And we're going to do an hour. So we did an hour show, guys. And this show is going to my YouTube channel. Keto is Live TV. Right there. Keto is Live TV. Make sure y'all go check it out. Make sure y'all add me. But, oh, thank you. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all for joining me. And make sure you share my video. And add me on YouTube. YouTube, I can talk to you on YouTube. For some reason on TikTok... 
if y'all leaving me, I have a lot of messages. People are leaving me, telling me help them and everything. And I can't, I'm sorry, but I can't respond back on TikTok. For some reason, they say, put my telephone number on there. I put my telephone number on there and it gives me a BS message. And I do not understand what I can do. I don't know what I can do. If you know, please let me know. But you can find me on my Facebook page, which is One Sugar is the Devil. Or you can find me on my YouTube, Keto is Life TV. You know, and I'll be more than glad. Or you could just call me, like I say, 832-715-2. Oh, that's Keto Coach. Hold on. Let me put, let me put this. All right. This thing's that. Okay, so Keto Coach. And this is the one I was trying to. Okay, so it, anyway, so that's my telephone. 832-715-2557. Guys, please share my videos. Please let everybody know, man, that they can beat diabetes. And if they need my help, call me. 832-715-2557. You know, and before I go, I'm going to play something else for y'all um, to motivate y'all, to push y'all, to tell y'all, man, you know what? Y'all can do this. Y'all, y'all. I know y'all can do this. Yeah. This is what you have to do. It's not no more what you want to do. It's what you have to do. You know, many of years I, I, w I was, I was, um, was caught living to eat. I was living to eat everything. And now I'm eating to live. You know, that's the difference. Living to eat, destroying myself. And now eating to live. Very different. Very, very different. You know, so if you're diabetic out there or if you know somebody's diabetic, let them know, hey, go check out free. Go check out his YouTube videos. Go check out his TikToks. Go check out his Facebook. Whatever you got to tell him, check out. But let him know that there's a way out. There's a way to beat this. You know, I don't just talk about it. I've been there. You know, and that's the straight up truth. But I'm going to go ahead and play you this real quick. Uh, let me see what I'm going to play. I'm going to play. Uh, all right. I'm going to play The Mirror. The Mirror. Here we go. Hi, this is Gilbert Patino. And today I want to talk to y'all about The Mirror. So I want to know how many of y'all looked at The Mirror this morning? And when you looked in the mirror, did you see someone you wanted to see? Or did you see someone that you did not want to see? Honestly, a lot of us accept what we see in the mirror every day. Even if we don't want to be that person, we accept it and then we move on. But are you really happy after you move on? Well, the truth is you're not happy because we stress, because of our health, because of our weight, because of our finances, because of the way we're living, because of what we work at, you're the only one that can change who you see in the mirror. And then there's the ones that don't wanna look in the mirror, that pass up the mirror and don't see the mirror. They walk out their house every day and not look at the mirror. I get it. Me, myself, I did not wanna look in the mirror. I had no reason to look in the mirror. And if I looked in the mirror, I pretend to see who I wanted to see. I pretend to be who I wanted to be. I had health problems. I had finance problems. I had a lot of things that were wrong with me. I didn't believe in myself. A lot of people never knew because I never showed them. Hey, but today I feel amazing. I think amazing and I am amazing. And we serve an amazing God and we forget. We forget we're not doing this by ourselves. We do this with him. So look in the mirror and change and change to who you want to be. It's time to dominate with life before life dominates on you. Take action. If you're struggling, it's cause you choose to keep yourself there. Believe in you, build your confidence up, live for something, stop being negative. Show people what you are made of. Come in terms of who you are and see the truth for what it is and then change to who you truly want to be. Do not look down on yourself. Look up. So look into the mirror and say out loud, 
I am going to change. I am going to become unstoppable. We will have an amazing health. We would have amazing wealth. We will once again truly love ourselves and love our mirror. Hey guys, thank y'all so much. Really appreciate everybody that joined me today. Thank y'all on TikTok. Thank everybody on TikTok. Thank you to everybody on Facebook. Thank y'all so much, man, guys. Everybody be blessed. Have an awesome night. If you need my help, reach out to me, 832-715-2557. Remember, you can beat this monster. You can beat diabetes. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life TV.